How's it going, Reef Keepers? Take a look at uh, the Millinaris Rass. She is in the tank, hanging out. So I wanted to kind of walk through uh, what I'm doing to reduce fish aggression now that I have released this fish into the tank. So um, specifically, I'm gonna focus on using a mirror to reduce fish aggression. But just know, you can see the, the scummy spot on the glass here that I still have to wipe down. But uh, I used an acclimation box for not a full week. Uh, I usually use an acclimation box, if I'm honest, until the acclimation box gets so much algae buildup on it that the fish, like, it looks mis miserable. I mean, and the other fish then cannot see inside of the acclimation box. So it's like, you know, they're not really getting used to the fish because they can't even see what's in it. So, like, that's when I take it down. And then I let the fish into the tank and I revert to utilizing the mirror method. So you just saw uh, this little dwarf angel fish take a quick poke at the Melanaris wrasse. And that fish is always the greatest aggressor in the tank, interestingly. Um, for whatever reason, that uh, dwarf angel is just like, I don't like newcomers. Luckily, it's a dwarf angel fish. It's not like a ferocious fish. It doesn't have a whole lot of chase capability. Like uh, it doesn't have the stamina to continue running down its target. Um, so I kind of just like, you know, I, I anticipate that. I know that's coming. What I'm typically worried about when I add a new fish to the tank is the tangs because tangs are not overly smart. They're very territorial. They're agile swimmers. And they're not, you know, small fish, not compared to, you know, the kind of fish that you can fit in an 80 gallon reef tank, right? Um, so basically to reduce, especially the tang aggression, I do this. I hang just a standard $5 discount shelf Walmart mirror, just a hand mirror facing inward, of course, on the glass. I just use a little bit of whatever cordage, shoelace, whatever's laying around. And I just hang it from my light mount and just let it rest against the glass on one side. And as you can see, so look at her up here, chilling all alone. And then look down here, look at all these fish just staring at themselves. And look at that yellow tang specifically going wild. The yellow tang goes crazy when you put in it. Every fish is different, of course. The yellow tang takes constant passes at itself and you know what swipes itself up against the glass and everything. The clownfish just kind of chills and stares at itself. The tamini tang, as you can see right now, does an interesting thing where it takes these like long passes through the tank and kind of like takes a long look at itself and then darts away. And I guess the thought process, you know, tons of people, if you look on the forums for ways to reduce fish aggression, will, you know, champion this method. I've never really heard anybody say, nah, don't do that, that doesn't work. People either say, yeah, it's a good measure to take, like it helps, or some people say, you know, oh yeah, it like that's that's the end all be all, the best method, period, end of story. And I kind of fall, you know, more toward that camp. I think it is actually like a legitimately awesome method to keep your fish occupied. Um, they basically just hover around that mirror for at least a couple of days until they start to kind of get used to it. And by then, the new fish has been kind of swimming around, been amongst the group, been within, you know, the vision lines of your other fish for long enough that when they do lose interest in the mirror and you take it down three or four days later, it's like the new fish was always there. And maybe you get a little bit of aggression for a minute, but it's like nothing serious. So um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this method. I think it is, I think it is probably the best method for reducing fish aggression that's like, you know, easy to do, right? Um, I would go acclimation box first for as long as you can. Um, and then, you know, when it scums up or if you're wiping it down, just when you feel like the other fish have lost interest and have stopped really looking at your fish or whatever in the acclimation box, um, take it out and just revert to the mirror method for a few days. And generally, it's great. So you can see, I mean, everybody's crowded down there on that end. Everybody's taking passes at it. Everybody's, you know, looking at the mirror, looking at themselves. So yeah, um, I think it's the, I think it is, uh, the way to go for sure. So, all right, guys, look at there. There's almost every fish in the tank just staring at themselves. So, <laughs> all right, have a good one.